Today I'm going to show you how to make a security system using a micro bit, alligator clips, a speaker, and aluminum foil. So what I have right here is my alarm system is set. I have the check mark telling me that everything is good. I have aluminum foil connected to the micro bit on pin one and going to the three volt, and then I have my speaker. If somebody were to open this box, it disconnects the foil, breaking the circuit. So somebody might be trying to steal my jewels. I hear the alarm going off, and I see an X on my micro bit. If I make the foil go back to touching, my alarm is set again. I got the check mark and the sound has stopped. So what's happening is we are completing a circuit with this switch, this foil. When the foil is touching, we're going to say that's a one. It's true. If the foil comes apart, that means that it's re reading the digital pin as being a zero or false. And somebody might be stealing my jewels. This is a versatile code to use, so it can work on a box. I've also made a very similar system using a notebook. So if somebody um, wants to keep a notebook safe, they can put the same alarm system, the same code, onto the micro bit. And this time I used some conductive thread. Everything looks good until I disconnect the switch here. Then when my switch comes apart, I see that it's flashing. You can't hear it very good, but an alarm is also going off. So we can use the same code for this. This is just a different way to make a switch. I have conductive thread, I have a paper clip, I have a brad, and the conductive thread runs all around. So let's make the code for this switch alarm system. I'm going to start a new project for my switch code, and I'm going to just call it switch. So I need the micro bit to always and repeatedly keep checking to see if my switch is connected. So I'm going to use the forever block. And I need to go into variables and make a variable called switch. Okay, so I have the variable switch and then I need set switch to zero. So I'm going to put that in the forever block. What I needed to do is always be checking digital pin one. So I click on advanced, scroll down to pins. And instead of writing it like we did to turn the light on and off, I need it to read the pin. That means to check to see if it is connected or not. So I'm going to put digital read pin 0 right here. I'm going to change pin 0 to pin 1 because I want to add some sound. Now we need to tell the micro bit what to do on two different conditions. Go into logic and pull out if true then else. Snap that under set switch 2. We need to say if the switch is connected, if it's a 1, everything looks good. So go back into logic, pull out the comparison, 0 equals 0, go into variable, pull out switch. So we need to say if the switch equals 1, that means the foil is connected. If switch equals 1, then everything looks good. I'm going to put a check mark under that, letting me know everything is safe. Now let's say the switch comes apart and it's a zero. I could put if switch equals zero, but I'm just, I know if it's not one, it's zero. So I'm just going to leave it with the else here. If the switch equals one, everything is good. If it's apart and it's a zero, I need to hear a sound. So I'm pulling out the play tone. I want it to be a higher note than that middle C. Maybe I'll go up to a higher C. And I need a visual cue that not everything is good. So I'm going to put an X under it if my foil has come apart and that means somebody has opened my box. All right, let's take a look at what happens on the simulator. When I run it, it starts off with my switch being apart. I can see that there's a zero on switch one. You can see that my speaker is connected to pin zero. If I click on the one here, it changes the 0 to a 1. That means my foil would be touching, and I have the check mark. Okay, so 1 is the foil's touching. Everything's good. If it comes apart, then I would have the alarm. And for whatever reason, I can't get it to come back apart. It starts off as 0, and I can change it to 1, but I can't change it back to 0. Okay, you can put whatever you want when it looks good. A heart, a smiley face, whatever. And when the switch comes apart right here, if it's a 0, you can make it play a song, you can make it play a note, you can show an X. We learned the other day how to flash lights, so you could do a digital write pen. We'd have to use two this time. 
to 1 and then to 0. So you can do a variety of things for this. Don't forget that when you're done, you need to share, publish, copy, and paste that link into Canvas. Have a great day.